Thanks for joining me. I am Lone Hawk. I am a top 2000 Alchemy best of one player, and I'm here to let you know which deck I would choose for Midweek Magic this week, which is the Alchemy Ladder Deck Showcase. They have five pre-constructed decks that you can choose from, and the choice matters. Let's get to it. Would you? Would I choose Boros Equipment? It's not a bad choice. It's pretty different from the equipment deck that I would run on the ladder, yet it still has a great synergy. There's a, a cool card in here uh, that is Nahiri's Resolve that brings back all those uh, Formiridin cards. It's got Skrelv, which is fun, uh, and some uh, good synergy with equipment cards. Jorkadine, Astor, uh, Nahiri. So, yeah, not a bad choice, but not the choice that I would choose. Uh, is it Azorius Control? I don't think so. If you love Control, you might want to try it. It does have Reprieve, which is better than it looked. It not only removes the threat for the turn, it not only removes the threat for the turn, but it also gets you uh, another card. And I just don't think it has the same pop that some of the other decks do. So what about Mono White Soldiers? Well, it's a good archetype, but they have kneecapped this one. It doesn't have many of the cards that I would play for Mono White Soldiers. Uh, first and foremost, it doesn't have Virtue of Loyalty, only has one copy of Mural, uh, one copy of Valiant Veteran, one copy of Siege Veteran, all which should have more in there. I think this one is just going to be too weak. It's a good archetype, but they haven't stayed true to it in that there's a lot of non-soldier cards in here where they could have chosen differently. We've got two left. There's a Golgari Midrange, which is a solid choice. Some of my favorite cards are here. Glissa, uh, Mosswood Dread Knight, Shieldred, can't go wrong with Shieldred. Um, Lord Skitter has Virtue of Persistence, which will be a big finisher. I wouldn't be mad choosing this one, but it is not my favorite. My favorite is the Five Color Legends. This is pretty much what I would run uh, were I going onto the ladder. I think uh, I might cut back some of the Legends to less than four copies, but in this deck, it uh, without search, it's probably a good idea. We've got three Crucius Titan of the Waves, which for some reason it doesn't want to show me here. It's an alchemy only card, and it uh, it's great for finding your threats. It has an effect that at the end of turn you may discard a card, and then you get to choose whether you want to seek a card with uh, higher mana cost or lower mana cost. So you can pitch a land, get a, a card with higher mana cost, and you also get a treasure if you do that. So just an awesome card. And this deck is just filled with them. Uh, Gwenna, Eyes of Gia, it gives you a two mana of any color to cast creature spells, and uh, gets plus one, plus one, and untaps if you cast something with power five or greater, which is Joda, which is Aragorn, Diaro and Hazaret, all three of which great cards, critical for the deck. Uh, you can drop any of those cards easily in on turn three in this deck. Uh, it has a strong start with Ramping, with Ruby, and Delighted Halfling. Delighted Halfling, a Lord of the Rings card you might not be aware of. Uh, fantastic card, especially with Legends. Hajar, protect your legendary creatures. It's a 3-3 for just two mana. It's an amazing card. Uh, Malira is also a 3-3 for just 2 mana, and both of them can save one of your uh, other legendary creatures. And then it's got a combo. It's got the Boromir, uh, Radadrabic, Elisil Core combo, which is an infinite uh, 
one turn kill. More on that later. And it also has the best card from from the new set, the new Alchemy Wilds of Eldraine release, uh, Captivating Crossroads. And they conceal it here, but uh, it is a any color land. Uh, it You choose a color, kind of like Th Thran Portal, but it's not a pain land. It comes into play untapped unless you are the first player. If you're, if you're on the play, it comes into play tapped on the first three turns only. So majority of the time, it's not a tap land. It's any color. Uh, it's a great fit for this deck. And you've got also Plaza of Heroes, which the standard players should be familiar with. And Great Hell of the Citadel, which you might not be. It's another Lord of the Rings card. And for uh, one and a tap, you can add two mana in any combination of colors to cast legendary spells. This land and any other will get you two of anything. This deck should run pretty mana smooth. So, um, yeah, this is easily my best the best deck of the of the five. Thanks for watching this far. If you feel it's been helpful, please like and subscribe. I'm just starting out and your support would mean a lot to me. I'd also love if you come back and let me know how it worked for you. Now let's uh, take a look at that combo. Here we are at the spot where we can do the Ratadrabic combo with Boromir and LSL Core. So what we do is we sacrifice Boromir. Uh, we get the copy. Each opponent loses a life. We choose a ring bearer, which is the Bor uh, Boromir token. And we repeat. Because the Boromir token is your ring bearer and therefore legendary, it gets copied into another token. And you can repeat this process until your opponent is defeated. With that, I will let you get to the midweek magic. Good luck. May alchemy turn your day to gold, and please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know how you did, and check out the other videos on the channel if you want to get into alchemy more. See you next time.